Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel, guys. Let me tell you about one of my clients. He has some very lucrative leads, but he was hearing crickets. By the end of this video, you're gonna have seven easy steps that you can implement that I also share with my client that you can use to close cold leads into closed deals. <music> I'm Felicia Streeter over at FeliciaStreeter.com where I'm helping contractors just like you scale your business to multiple six figures by landing government contracts so that you can hit your revenue goals, work less, and what's that third one? Oh, and take on fewer clients. But guess what? Still hitting your revenue goals and increasing your bottom line profits. For the best government contracting advice, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And while you're here, go ahead and hit the like button so that you don't miss out on any of the tips, tricks, strategies, tactics that I'm sharing right here on this channel every Thursday. All right, let's dive into my client and his situation. So this is really like a mini strategy sharing session because I'm gonna share with you what the deal was and how we crushed it, all right? So here's the deal, here's the deal. So he had some very lucrative opportunities before him, but he was hearing, right, the crickets, okay? And maybe you can relate. So if you can, keep listening, okay? So here's the thing. They had asked for proposals. They had asked for bid numbers. You know, can you supply this? Do you have the resources? All of these things were yes and check but he was still hearing crickets. He heard nothing else from them after that, right? And so he's wondering like, what's the deal? And what happened? Why aren't I'm hearing back? I've given them everything they asked for and I have not heard from them since. That is the question of today and how to overcome that. So let's dive into my seven easy steps that I shared with him okay, that you can execute on starting today at the end of this video to get those cold leads turned back into warm leads and eventually what? Closing the deal, okay? So let's dive in. I got my steps here. So here's step number one. You're out networking, you know, you're meeting people online, social media, you're getting referrals. However, your leads are coming in. You need to organize your leads. You can't be looking all over the place. Like, I know I had a lead last week. Where is it, right? Is it on your phone in your note section? Did you put it in a spreadsheet? Did you write it down on a sheet of paper? Did you jot it down on a napkin? You got to organize your leads so that you can track them because what you track, you close, okay? The second thing you wanna do is create a workflow for your leads, okay? How are they coming in? How will you follow up, right? You need to have a workflow in place, or if you wanna use the term system, in place for how you're going to manage your leads and stay on top of um, maintaining and managing those leads. That's the only way you're gonna be able to convert them, okay? So here are what I have for you, a couple ways that you can track your leads. Uh, definitely, if you're old school, you can use a spreadsheet. That's awesome. I like to do something digital. And even if you're old school and like paper, I would say put it digital and then print it off. That way, if someone else needs to access it uh, in your office, on your team, or while you're out or anything like that, they can get to it. So um, either do just digital or do both, okay? Now, my favorite is pipe drive. I love pipe drive. And with pipe drive... Uh, or any other system that manages your um, um, your contacts, most of those will have where you can put reminders where it will pop up or you know uh, connect to your calendar and things like that. So any type of system, like I said, Pipe Drive, uh, Streak, 
uh, I can't think of HubSpot I know has one. There's a, a plenty of them, okay? I just like pipe dry and I'll put the link below for you guys, okay? So here's what I want you to do. Right now, comment below and tell me how you are tracking your leads in your business. Put it down in the comments. Are you a pencil and paper? Do you have a spreadsheet? Maybe you have a planner, a notebook, uh, or you're using something digital. Let me know, all right? We're always looking for new ideas. So share how you're tracking your leads in the comments below, okay? Now, it is very important to track certain information that will also help you in closing your leads. So here's what I have for you. One, where did the lead come from? Okay, because that's a conversation starter later on down the road. Um, what were their needs and interests, right? Like what product or service that you offer that they were interested in? And, and what was their current struggle, need? You know, why did they, you know, have the conversation that they did with you? So you need to know that. And then you want to always maintain notes of the conversation, not just the initial initial conversation, but throughout the life cycle of the relationship. You should be jotting down notes from each and every conversation, okay? And then I like to keep track of the um, first date, right? The first interaction so that I can also um, check my numbers. You know, I like to check my metrics. So I want to check my conversion rate and how long it takes me to convert someone from a lead to a client, okay? And then the third thing, or the last thing I should say is the need to follow up. You need to know how you're gonna follow up, how often you're gonna follow up, you know? Is it every other day? Is it gonna be, you know, at different increments? You need to know what the follow-up process looks like for you, uh, time-wise, as well as the type and how you're gonna follow up, okay? So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to go out, and get five new leads in the next seven days. I believe you can do that. Whether you're going out networking or if it's online, I don't care how you do it, but go out, get you five leads, filter them through this little system, right? Seven steps I've given you that you can implement today, right? And then start closing some deals. Can you do that? All right, here's seven. Step number seven is really just rinse and repeat. There you have it, all right? So rinse and repeat. Now, here's the thing. I get asked this question a lot. Um, well, they said no, so why should I follow up? Here's the thing, I always say, you follow up until they tell you to stop, okay? Just because they said no, does not mean they will never buy from you or they will never need what you have to offer. What they're saying is, no for right now, okay? So just think of when someone says no, it's, it just means no for right now. Still put them into your follow-up system, okay? And if they said, you know, it's gonna be a couple months, if you have your follow-up system done right, which I teach my clients, you can still follow up within the two months and then get back to the conversation of um, their needs after um, the two months, right? Somewhere in there. So just make sure you continue to follow up. Know that no just means no for right now, okay? So I hope this information was helpful. Let me know in the comments, you know, how you're feeling, what we're putting down here. This is, just so you know, video two in a four-part video series on sales push. So if you missed last week's video, I'll put the link down in the comments. Go back and check it out as well. I'm giving you strategies that you can take and implement like immediately to start generating some leads and closing more deals in your business okay um okay so there you have it so now you have the seven steps i've given them to you convert those cold leads back into warm leads and then close more deals all right what else do i have for you i think that's it so don't forget to like the video comment below let me know uh, what your strategy is as far as following up leads, things like that, whatever you want to share in the comments. If there's a topic you're interested in me talking about, you can also put that down in the comments. All right, like, subscribe, and then I'll see you right back here next week. All right, bye for now.